Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the sidelines of the Middle East Green Initiative Summit. His Royal Highness highlighted the long standing ties between Bahrain and Kuwait, which continues to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom's commitment to further strengthening the bilateral cooperation across various sectors, providing opportunities that benefit both countries and their peoples. Several topics on the agenda of the Middle East Green Initiative Summit relating to environmental preservation and combating climate change were reviewed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Deputy Ruler of Dubai, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the sidelines of the Middle East Green Initiative Summit. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of bilateral ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE, which continues to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of building on past achievements on expanding cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE at all levels to benefit the two countries and their peoples. During the meeting, the importance of the Middle East Green Initiative Summit to ensure regional climate security were discussed. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his efforts to further the bilateral relations between the two countries and their peoples across various fields to serve their common interests. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan on the sidelines of the Middle East Green Initiative Summit. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of relations between Bahrain and Pakistan, which are based on solid foundation of joint cooperation. He noted the importance of furthering bilateral partnership, but particularly within the economic and investment sectors, in line with joint agreements to benefit both countries and their peoples. The Middle East Green Initiative Summit and the importance of climate action and enhancing the quality of life for current and future generations were discussed. His Royal Highness commended the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's efforts alongside regional partners in furthering green initiatives that improve economic sustainability. The Prime Minister of Pakistan expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and highlighted His Royal Highness's continued support to furthering bilateral ties, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in Riyadh to participate on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative Forum held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, accompanied by an official delegation of senior officials. His Royal Highness will also take part in the Middle East Green Initiative Summit at the invitation of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz. Upon arrival at King Khalid International Airport, His Royal Highness was received by the Deputy Governor of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and several other senior officials. His Royal Highness conveyed that he is delighted to have arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on a visit that reaffirms the depth of bilateral relations. He expressed Bahrain's pride in Saudi Arabia's active role in spearheading economic initiatives that have a substantial impact on regional and global development. He said that it is his honor to participate in the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative Forum and extended his thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia for the invitation to participate in the Middle East Green Initiative. His Royal Highness added that the visit is an opportunity to convey the greetings of His Majesty the King to the Saudi King and Crown Prince. He expressed His Majesty's wishes for both the fifth edition and the Future Investment Initiative and the Middle East Green Initiative Summit to be successful events. His Royal Highness highlighted Saudi Arabia's role in further strengthening investment opportunities, environmental preservation, green initiatives, and humanity's progress. He commended Saudi Arabia's role in serving the goals of Arab and Islamic nations, noting its responsibility as a leader of regional and international security and stability efforts. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the positive results achieved by Spanish Team Cordoba under the Bahraini leadership in the second division of the Spanish League are the results of the board's support to the team and the players' keenness to deliver outstanding performances. His Highness praised the team's victory over Atiquera in the eighth round of the second division. He explained that this positive result will encourage the team to continue on the same path and achieve more points in order to maintain its leading position. His Highness wished the team further success in the coming matches. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Minister of Sports and President of the Saudi Olympic Committee, Prince Abdul Aziz bin Turki Al Saud, signed a memorandum of cooperation. The two parties affirmed the mutual interest in developing the bilateral ties in all fields. The signing came on the margins of the presence of the two parties in the Greek island of Crete. His Highness expressed happiness over the signing of the memorandum, which will further strengthen the bilateral ties, especially in the field of sports. He praised the important role of the Saudi Olympic Committee in developing the sports scene in the region and the world, under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince. His Highness affirmed that Saudi Arabia's winning the bid of hosting the Asian Games 2034 reflects the confidence in the sports movement there. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the president of the Israeli Olympic Committee, Egal Karmi, which comes on the sidelines of His Highness's visit to the Greek island Crete to lead Bahrain's delegation participating in the General Assembly of the Association of International National Olympic Committees. His Highness affirmed the keenness of the Bahrain Olympic Committee to cooperate and communicate with other Olympic committees in the world and embody the noble Olympic values based on openness, respect, friendship and peace among people in the world and to harness sports to achieve peace and rapprochement. His Highness with the President uh, signed means of joint cooperation in the sports field and benefiting from the experiences of both countries and developing sports relations. His Highness presented him with an overview of the sports movement in Bahrain, the most important achievements it has achieved and the initiatives taken by the Bahrain Olympic Committee, stressing the importance of using sport to achieve the goals of peace and friendship between different people. The President of the Israeli Olympic Committee praised the good reputation of Bahraini sports in light of the achievements it has made and the initiatives it has implemented to promote various sports, affirming the importance of developing sports relations between the two countries. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting yesterday, presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. The council discussed a supplementary report on Article 12 created and returned from draft law amending some provisions of Decree Law 20 of 2002 regarding the regulation of fishing, exploitation and protection of marine wealth. The meeting discussed a draft law on allocating 50% of the coast of the investment islands as public coasts. It also approved a draft law amending Article 3 of the Social Security Law. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil Ahmedan met with the Jordanian Prime Minister Dr. Bishar Al-Khasawna. The minister conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Jordanian Premier and his keenness on strengthening the developing uh, the bilateral relations on various levels. The meeting reviewed the most prominent challenges facing the Arab world in the fight against poverty and the development of services provided to vulnerable groups in society, including the elderly people with disabilities and low-income families. They also discussed the Council of Arab Ministers of Social Affairs' role in strengthening the joint Arab action system through the Arab League and its efforts in studying their researching all the difficulties and challenges faced by the Arab countries and ways to avoid them. The results of the National Report on Gender Balance 2019-2020, to prepared by the Supreme Council for Women, showed an increase in the gender balance index in Bahrain from 65% for the period 2017-2018 to, to 69% for the period 2019-2020. to On the occasion, the Secretary General of the CW, Halal Ansari, asserted that Bahrain was able, through national efforts, to prepare for a phase of work that was distinguished by its qualitative output at the level of advancement of Bahrain 
Ukrainian woman. She added that the second issue of the report affirms the support of the government and its conviction of the need to build on the achievements of Bahraini women. Lansari stated that the report provides a scientific diagnosis of areas of development and improvement by measuring the effectiveness and impact of policies, legislation and national plans on achieving the indicators of the national plan for the advancement of Bahraini women. Lansari particularly appreciated the efforts of the Ministry of Finance and National Economy in supporting the work of the report and achieving its objectives. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirms that the Kingdom of Bahrain is following the developments in Sudan with concern and express confidence in the ability of the political forces in Sudan to deal with the crisis through dialogue. The Ministry affirmed the importance of maintaining peace, stability and security in order to meet the aspirations of the Sudanese people for development and prosperity. The President of Indonesia, Joko Widodo, received the credentials of the Kingdom of Bahrain's Ambassador to Indonesia, Ahmed Abdullah Al Hajri. Al Hajri conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the President and, wishes, and wished him further health and the Indonesian people further development and prosperity. Rafah Tennis Club held a special event titled Tennis for Breast Cancer Awareness in conjunction with Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The event witnessed the participation of a number of players with the aim of spreading awareness about the disease and shedding light on the ways of protection. The event also comes with the club's vision which aims to develop healthy societies, prioritize health and prevent these diseases. The club will also seek to continue its cooperation with the various sectors for the prosperity of the kingdom by protecting the people of Bahrain and embody the vision of the leadership. Uh, Rafa Tennis Club organized this evening for uh, encouraging women and ladies to uh, play tennis. Uh, it came with uh, October, since October is month of awareness of breast cancer. And as everybody knows that cancer, the name by cancer, it make maybe create fear, create an anxiety with anybody here about this. And many women, they get afraid from getting cancer. Yet they should have a hope because cancer, breast cancer exactly, if it is discovered early, it will, the cure rate, it reach even more than 95%. Therefore, we encourage ladies to practice self-examination, periodic examination, as well as whatever periodic examination done in the health centers. Exercise helps prevent uh, diseases, especially breast cancer. Um, this is a very good opportunity that the Rifa Tennis Club uh, implemented, and I'm so proud to be a part of the team and part of uh, the awareness that we are raising for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. 